Hey everybody, it's Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Today we are going to begin the next main galaxy of World 1, which is Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Now there is a secret star in this galaxy, but we are unable to get it at this point. What did the Toad Brigade Captain do now? Ah, uh, gotta go find him. Now, I like this stage, too. Not as much as the previous stage, but this is a really neat, really neat, uh, really neat stage, and I like it. It has... It has another power-up that's new to this game. Cloud Mario! Um, in the post-game, they make you do some really crazy things with Cloud Mario. Uh, another very neat thing that Cloud Mario does is he slows... is when you have the power-up, it slows your fall, even if you're out of platforms to make. Uh, don't touch water, because that will... because uh, that will dull your power-up. Uh, also, don't ground pound when you're uh, when you're Cloud Mario because uh, you will fall right through the platforms. I will take that though. Uh, if you see any of those like electronic signs, uh, those are basically tutorial signs that tell you. You know that tell you how to how to use your new power-ups. Yeah, it tells you to make clouds, but you actually don't need them to make any of those jumps. It's pretty ridiculous. And Cloud Mario, you actually do get to keep. But I don't think you get to keep him anymore because of the water here. Yeah, and you can't long jump effectively. Cosmic Clones! Yeah, I'm just gonna try to get all the star p the star chips now. So that I don't have to worry about them in, like, backflipping for the Comet Metal. Which is barely within your reach without, uh, without Cloud Mario. I will take those. See that platform we caught a glimpse of? Remember that platform for later, because that's going to be important. I think I can... I think I can actually wall jump to get this... to get that, uh, block, which I can. I don't think there were any winged blocks in Super Mario Galaxy. I am going to use a platform here, though. If I would consider any uh, any of the power-ups in Super Mario Ga in the Super Mario Galaxy games broken, it would be this one. Like, just given the way the level design is. One thing you do have to be very careful of is you need to be careful not to accidentally spin when you're on the ground as Cloud Mario because you will use a platform that way, even if you're on the ground, and it's very frustrating. Whoa, hello, hello, hello. Are you serious? Wow. Y-A-S-D. I'm not even playing a roguelike and I get to say Y-A-S-D. Why? Because it was stupid. Remember, you cannot make that jump without backflipping. 
or using a cloud, which I think I'm just going to do, because I can just use a cloud here. Get him back. And then still use the platform. Or not. Because they're timed, apparently. Like, it make. Wow, it doesn't even make a difference. <laughs> well, there's more to this level than I thought. Okay. Hello. Yeah, long jumping with the cloud, um, and covering great distances, uh, you'll have to do a lot of puzzle solving with that later on. Alright, we made the peak, awesome. Remember that guy for later, too, because he's going to be the source of a number of your stars, uh, especially later in the game. I'm not exactly sure what the prerequisites are for them, but there we go. There's star number 10. And because we have acquired a new power-up, it goes on display in uh, the middle of the ship. Six for six on Comet Medals so far. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of power-ups in this game. In any case, I think that'll about do it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Join us next time!